Shalom, Yasharala. Shalom. It's the brother Kadaga right here again. Want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers, preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the Holy Lake of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Woe to the world. Okay. Mass destruction is coming to this world. And we see things unfold as we speak. All right. We seeing everything that's going out throughout the world. And this is the words of the Bible speaking. It's being manifest. Okay. The prophecies is coming to pass. <clears throat> now I'm going to read this. Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 and it reads for then should be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be so this, this time that's coming the time that we in is going to be a time like never before since the beginning of the world and it would never be a time like this after this place gets destroyed. All right. Great trouble is coming. And there's nothing that <laughs> Esau, Edom, the so-called white man could do about it. All right. So this is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. Because, you know, seeing all these, you know, commotions going on between these other nations man this is bible prophecy man all right so it's matthew 24 verse 6 and it reads and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet all right and we are you know witnessing the manifestation of the prophecies of the Bible. All right. We see these wars that's going on with these other nations on the other side of the world. Okay. And that's not going to stop. It's going to increase. It's going to get worse. All right. And eventually, America is going to get involved in these wars. All right. And it's going to be a war, all out war, World War Three. Revelations 11 verse 14. The second woe is past and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right. So it's, hey, it's going to, it's going to happen, man. But, you know, we that's in this truth and sincerity ought not to be afraid. We want these things to come to pass. By these things coming to pass, these prophecies coming to pass. That's the only way we're going to be able to be delivered. We can't have a mindset like these people in this world and be like, I don't want these things to happen. If these things don't come to pass, then we would never get up out of here, out of this terrible condition that we in, being in these 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 this sinful flesh, this this, this body of death. All right, we won't we won't. We want righteousness, man. We want we want immortality. Okay, we have to have that victory mindset. All right. This place has nothing for us but death and sickness and wickedness. All right. So we have to overcome that by remaining faithful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, trusting in the the words of this holy book. All right, trust trusting in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay. Following the ways that the Lord. All right. To the best of our ability, keeping the faith. All right. Being strong in the spirit. OK. <clears throat> but it's, 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 you know, it's beautiful to see these things happen, man, because we want destruction to come to this place. All right. Because this place, this whole world goes against the ways of the heavenly father, our father, man. It disrespects our father. All right. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, our big brother, our king, our savior. So we want these things to happen. We want this place to be torn down, man. Okay? 
We on the right side of the father. We not worry about what's going to happen to this place, man. Because we on the right side of the father. The heavenly father says he's going to help us to deliver us, man. Out of this place. All right? So we have nothing to be worried about. All right? So this is uh second Ezra chapter 16, verse... Seven. Let me start at verse seven. And it reads, Behold, the players draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or or three hours of her birth, great pains compass her womb. That's the contractions that a woman have when she's getting ready to give birth. Which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Okay, and that's just like these prophecies, man. These prophecies not going to slack. They're going to keep coming. Just like the, uh, 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 the uh, contractions when a woman get ready to give birth. When I was in there, when I just had my, my uh, newest... Uh, baby, almost almost about to be a year now. He was born as uh, he was born in November. So about a year ago, you know, just being in that room watching that woman, <laughs> you know, having those contractions, they keep coming, and it, and it's, it is very painful, man. And they they increase until she get ready to to, to deliver that child. OK, and that's what's happened with these prophecies. These prophecies are coming to pass and things are going to get um, the th things are going to increase, man. It's going to get worse. Until it's all, all out. Chaos in the world, man. All right. We haven't seen nothing yet. OK. Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come up on the earth. And the world shall mourn. World, the world is going to mourn. All right, and sorrow shall come upon it, on every side. All right, the whole earth, not just America, the whole earth. Okay. Okay, let's see. What can we grab? So this is uh second Ezra chapter five. We'll start here at verse one and it reads, Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, and the tokens represent the signs. Behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number mass death all right and the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith okay so it's going it's going it's going to get real real <laughs> it's going to get real nasty out here all right cuz hey man the prophets we that preach this truth and sincerity the heavenly father is going to put us up he's going to shut our mouths all right. And you people in the world is not going to be able to get this truth. You're not going to be able to have this truth. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to be able to get it. So you won't have no understanding. Of what's going on and why it's going. Why is things happening the way it's happening? Because you choose not to hear it and hearken unto the prophets of the Lord. The Lord sent forth the prophets to preach unto you. Okay, this word is for the Israelites, man. As well as we warn the whole earth. But this word, I mean, this word is particularly for the for the Israelites. Mainly for the elect. All right. Of the nation of Israel. All right. So, you know, people not going to know what's going on when all hell break loose, man. They're going <laughs> to be one with answers. Going to be asking questions and, and want answers to those questions. But the prophet's going to be put up, man. Okay, the world, the, the the word, this truth is gonna be hidden. You had your time to get the, the word, you had time to to uh 
hear this truth and, and get the understanding, the proper wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. But you choose not to, man. You choose to love the ways of this world and be in this world. Okay. But, you know, the elect is going to have that stability. They, the elect is going to be all right. Let's go here. All right. Isaiah chapter 33. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 33. We're going to hit right here. Get straight to the point. Verse 6, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. What times? The times of trouble, great tribulation, Jacob's trouble. When all hell break loose, okay, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. Wisdom and knowledge of what? This this holy Bible, this truth, the scriptures, the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and strength of salvation. Okay, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of the whole Bible, the proper wisdom and knowledge, understanding of the Bible. Is going to give those who trust in, in the Lord stability in those times, in those terrible times that's coming here up on this earth, and, and the strength of salvation. Okay, it's going to give them strength in the spirit to get through these things, to not worry, to continue to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And it goes on to say, the fear of the Lord. Is his treasure. Okay. Fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is our treasure. Because we know uh, the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and understanding is the fear of the Lord. You can't get no wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scripture if you don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay. We that we that we that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai have a great understanding of the scriptures. And we believe in the scriptures. All right. So, you know, <clears throat> bad times is coming, a time like never before, Jacob's trouble, you know. So, we, you know, we have to hold on to our faith, man, all right? Hold on to your faith. Hold on to that crown. Keep watching and keep praying and keep believing. This is uh going to be the last scripture right here. This is Luke. 21 verse 36 and it reads watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and to stand before the son of man Yahweh Shai so watch for the prophecies and always pray okay always pray and keep watching these prophecies come into pass. All right. Continue to keep the faith and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, so that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these troubles that's coming. Okay. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm ended off with that. Uh, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing. Shalom.